If you want to completely change the look and feel of your Windows 11 desktop, then this is probably the best application for that. It is called Ceylon UI. This is a free and open source application. And the description of this application says the fully customizable desktop environment for Windows 10 and 11. This is kind of like a desktop environment for Windows, just like in Linux, like Linux has many desktop environments like GNOME, KDE, many others. So this is somewhat similar. It changes the look and feel. At least you get the Mac style dock. Now you can also have the animations, the wave animation, and you get the top bar at the top, just like Mac. Or you can also say Linux, whatever you prefer. And I think this is like third video I'm making about this because this thing is actually pretty good. And just recently, there is something interesting going on here with this application. So let's talk about that. So you can get this from Microsoft Store. Yes, it's available in Microsoft Store or you can go to releases and from here you can download the exe or msix file and install it whichever you prefer once you install it this isn't the default look of this i actually customized it by installing the plugins yes now it supports plugins and you can kind of fully customize this thing to your liking okay so at the top you can see uh there are colorful icons and everything because <laughs> i used the plugin again so let's open the Ceylon UI settings. If you go to resources, here you'll see a bunch of categories. We have themes, plugin, widget, icon pack, wallpaper, sound pack. If you go, let's say for example, themes here, you can see I have downloaded a couple of themes. Here we have a new section called discover more resources. There is a link. You just click on it. It will open your default web browser. Here you can actually download themes or plugins and these plugins and themes are actually pretty cool like for example wave animation i have already downloaded this so this is the wave animation okay just like in mac os it's like it feels so good okay it's smooth look at that <laughs> okay let's say for example i want to download this one okay or maybe this one with the name without the name I think we have a name here okay with the name we're gonna download with the name okay this is a system tray menu this is the system tray menu of Ceylon UI the default one it's vertical uh, but we can change this to uh, grid okay we can click on download and it will just automatically download it to the Ceylon UI and for the first time it will ask you to open Ceylon UI with this link you'll have to allow that so I've already allowed that so I'm gonna click on enable once I enable it if I go and check the system tray you can see it's a grid now okay there is a little bit of overlapping happening I should actually uninstall this one and have the icon only. Let's enable it. Let's open this. And yeah, this one looks much better. When we hover, then this will show us the name. So this one, oh, it will give you the transparency. Let's enable it now. Yeah, okay. Everything became transparent at the top. You can see our top bar became transparent. I think this looks much better. <laughs> okay, we can also com compact this. There is this uh, theme called round toolbar, is it? Yeah, with this we can, you know, make them come closer. And there was a time and date in here, which I disabled. Let's add the date. That looks much better. Toolbar media player. Let's actually download this. I think I can add module from here. Uh, media, yeah, media player too okay so we have this right now there is nothing playing but we have the media player here and we can set this to wherever we want when it's playing it will look something like this okay so the name of the music and the media control buttons and so on there are many other cool plugins that you can download now let's just talk about the Ceylon UI and its settings uh, in resources you can change the plugins themes you know icon packs and everything if you go to the theme section here you can enable and disable the themes that you have downloaded if you go to the fancy toolbar this is for the top bar okay you can enable it disable it if you don't want to use it 
yeah, you can uh, just completely disable it. But if you want to use it, you can enable it. You can also change the position and all that. Okay, uh, we have application launcher. I actually prefer the PowerToys command palette, so I just don't use it because it's more powerful but if you want to use a app launcher from this yeah you can i think doc is the best thing about this application when you enable doc it actually completely hides the windows taskbar okay it doesn't show up even after you hover your mouse so if you want a dog that works just like mac and even has animation and all that this is probably the best dog application that you can get i mean again as i said you don't have to use everything you can disable every single thing on this like the top bar themes and everything and if you just want to use doc you can only enable doc window manager if you're someone who wants to use tiling window manager then yeah, it also has the tiling window manager option and the themes and plugins that you have downloaded can be customized too. So we have individual colors in here. Uh, so that's why we have individual colors in our top bar widgets or modules. If I go to the theme and uh, disable, where is the individual colors? Yeah, this one, disable this and save it. You can see this is the default look, okay, the white. But if you want to have individual colors, you can download this theme and enable it. And you can also go to setting and here you can select the color for the module like Bluetooth color module. It's reddish. So you can see it's red in here. So you can give it whatever color you want. These are the default and I think default looks good. OK, you don't really have to customize anything by default. Everything will look good. But if you want to, you have the option. And it also supports multiple monitors. This app is actually pretty simple. You have the top and the top bar, and it works really well. I mean, if you want to replace the Windows taskbar, yeah, I, it can do that, basically, if you prefer something like that. To be honest, yeah, it has the best dock by default. Okay, you'll have to download the a theme for the animations. Okay, the, if you want these animations. And after that, this will look just amazing. <laughs> okay, and it's getting better and better. Now there are themes, plugins that you can download to make it even better. If you want to change the look and feel of your regular windows, yeah, this is pretty cool. And on top of that, this is completely free and open source. And it's fairly popular too. Yeah, a lot of people love this. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.